Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Dustin and I'm taking your suggestions on what props you want to see me try to recreate here in my house using everyday materials and junk I can find and stuff from the hardware store. So let's get started. All right, so I've gotten a lot of requests to do the sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who. Now, a lot of people have asked for the 11th Doctor and the 10th Doctor, so I've decided to start with the 10th. It has a really cool design, and this is the one used by David Tennant, and it seems to be a fan favorite, so I'll start with that one. So, um, this is the smallest prop I've made so far, but that means I gotta get real specific with the details here. So, definitely gonna make mine light up. It's got this cool blue light, black area on the bottom. It's mostly just gray, but I love the clear tube. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can find some old pens and some miscellaneous is junk that I can start piecing this thing together. Okay, so I've picked out a lot of miscellaneous junk from my junk box. I don't know exactly what I'm using. Um, I've got some old pens and then I've got some of the leftover PVC pipe. I picked up a handful of LED flashlights. I don't even know which one I'm gonna use yet, but sometimes you gotta buy multiple things and the ones that I don't use, I'll probably just return to the store. So the main thing here is just figuring out the main body and the structure of the whole thing. Okay, you could just find a pen. Like if you have an old pen, this is for the clear chamber. I'm just thinking ahead. There's a great little clear section on most pens where you could just chop off both sides. So I might use this one, but these are a little thicker. This is a really standard pen. If you have one that you can just cut up, just grab it. This was four bucks uh, for the whole pack. This could like, what if I use this? Now my question is, is this too thin for a sonic screwdriver? This permanent marker is a little thicker. Yeah, if you don't want to pick up some PVC pipe, like this is all just leftover scraps. They're only a couple bucks a piece usually, but look, an old marker works fine too. It's a tube, so you can just remove that cap, cut this end off. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut right through here, just so I can see what I'm dealing with, and then I'll decide which one I wanna use as the base. So this is just a little tiny hacksaw. All right, so I've got a few options here, and I have this pipe. Now this is um, this PEX tubing. I still have a leftover from, you know, I used it in my Terminator arm, and I used a little bit on the uh, ghost trap, and it was two bucks when I bought it new. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit in the top here because it fits really well, and then cut this, and then that will kind of serve as a guide for where I'm gonna put the clear part. That fits in pretty good, actually. All right, so I'm just thinking ahead before I attach all this um, on what the top half is gonna be. That's what the blue light is and stuff. So I just discovered that the cap from this pen fits right on this pen really well. So I'll end up gluing that down and then this is gonna be my slide right here. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna drill right through here and kind of start hollowing this out and hollow at the top. All right, so this is a step drill bit. It's really handy for making holes bigger and bigger and bigger without having to keep switching your drill bits over and over. So I'm gonna drill straight through the side of this cap in one direction, just straight through, sort of hollow it out and make the shape that I want, and then turn it 90 degrees and do the same thing on the other side, just drilling straight through until I've got all four of the holes where I can really see through all sides of this cap. Okay, it's looking a little rough, but uh, with a little bit of sanding and filing, I think this is gonna work. These are just some files that are for like modeling. You can pick up a pack, I think for maybe, I don't know, five bucks. I don't remember, bought it a long time ago. <laughs> I'm gonna use this little plug that I pulled out of the bottom of the pen as just an extra spacer. All right, let's get in there. All right, so I've got this all filed down. Now, these holes that I made are a little bit on the wobbly side, but I'm gonna add in some little sticks along all four of these here. So these are popsicle sticks, or you can buy craft sticks. I think you can get a pack for maybe three bucks or four bucks. Um, or just use an old popsicle stick. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this into the little base with super glue. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint what I've got so far silver. Alright, so of course I've always got this leftover metallic paint, but you can pick up a new one for about four bucks. That was easy. Alright, so that's looking pretty cool. Painted silver, so now I just gotta figure out the LED situation. I bought these long ones because I thought they might fit up inside of it, but you know, I'm starting to see that this little one I have might be the best. I'm gonna tear this one apart and see what happens. And this one cost me five dollars. Here it comes, oh, here we go. Oh, there. Yeah, look at that. So we don't need any of the original housing whatsoever. It's got a nice little switch on the side, off, on, 
and a perfect little LED. So you could put this into the unit as is that you're building and kind of decorate it and paint it. But I think what I'm gonna do is actually detach this LED and then extend it with some wires. And for that, I'm gonna use the soldering iron. You could get away with maybe just tying it off or maybe using some super glue, but um, I am gonna use the soldering iron for this. Okay, I have no idea how much this thin wire costs. I have like a ton of it. It's old telephone wire. Remember telephones? <laughs> when they had wires? <laughs> Silly me, I'm so old. Uh, I'm just gonna strip the ends off here and then attach the light to the end. Okay, so two wires are attached. I'm gonna leave a lot of extra on here and just coil this up so it'll all compress inside of the pen. Okay, all four leads are soldered. So if I did this correctly, I should have my button down here, my light up here. Bing, 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 bing. So now we can attach the battery unit with the switch into the base of this. I kind of forgot that I need to be sticking these pieces on here as I go. So luckily I have a lot of extra in the middle. So I'm just gonna cut these and start assembling it. And then it's easy to put the wires back together after. I'm gonna cut a little extra ridge. All right, so now I'm thinking, I was gonna base this whole thing off of this pen. This was gonna stick out of here and everything, but I think I need a little bit more room um, to accommodate the little battery pack, because that is like not gonna fit in there. So I think I'm gonna switch, use some PVC pipe that I have. This is half inch, so this fits perfectly inside here. And I'm just trying to figure out a new like little bevel piece that then this can come out of. So kind of like rethinking the whole thing here, but that's just how it goes. Okay, before I glue all this into place, I'm gonna paint this middle section gray. I'm just gonna go with the gray primer. Um, you know, his has kind of like a crackle design, and you can buy paint that does that, but this was about three bucks, so I'm just gonna go with that. Inside this top piece, there's a little tiny tube. So I'm gonna use the inside of this pen. This is the pen I already took apart, so I gotta empty out the ink without making a huge mess. Stick some wire through it. <laughs> this might leak later in your cosplaying your, with your Doctor Who friends and you get ink all over. You can blame me. Oh yeah, that's clear. Okay, so I'm gonna spray paint this silver and then I'll put the LED into it. There. So there's a little tubey. Okay, so before I glue the LED into place with these wires, you can see the wires inside the tube and they're kind of a gold, kind of yellow. So I'm just gonna twist the actual wire and spray paint it, then I'll be enclosing it inside the clear tube. All right, so for the very bottom piece, um, the closest thing I could find that was kind of round was this highlighter. It's very specific, so, you know, just check out your pens, see what you've got, and if you got something round like this, um, I think that's gonna work, so I'm just gonna modify this. The little cap on the bottom has these really cool little ridges that go up and down, so I'm gonna try and cut those out and file it down uh, and make those shapes before I paint it black. Sweet. So in order for this to slide in and out, I'm gonna cut a hole in the side of this so there'll be like um, a little kind of handle so you can really push it and slide it. So I need to find an actual little switch or something to grab onto. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's gone. Canceled. <laughs> Okay, so I need to make a little access hole because this battery pack is gonna be sitting in here But we need to be able to push the button. So I think I'm just gonna drill a little hole in the side I don't want to make this hole too huge to try and get my finger in here So I'm gonna make a little kind of special button out of some rubber So I have this little tiny piece. This is left over out of an old printer So I'm gonna cut some little circles out of these rubber pads and make a special button now The thing is I'm trying to make this so it's not just glued in entirely It's gonna just sit into place and then the bottom section is gonna just sit right in here and hold that into place. I made it so it's nice and snug by putting a little extra ring of plastic. So it's a cool solid thing, but when it comes time to change the batteries, you can just pop the bottom of this off and uh, you'll be able to pop this battery pack out. Well, it wasn't on purpose, but uh, this episode is definitely the answer to the overuse of hot glue. So this is the super glue episode. You just gotta use specific types of glues. So I've been at it for like uh, over eight hours now and it looks like I haven't done a single thing, which is not true. I have many pieces 
but now it all goes together. So I gotta stick it all together, wire this back up, hope all the electronics still work. So now the trick is gonna be to spiral this whole thing up inside there so that it's springy. So this is the moment of truth. Button works. <laughs> you can see it all bunched up. Okay, the final piece, the blue light. The closest thing I could come up with was these little glass beads. This seems like it's gonna work. This entire bag was only $3. So it seemed like it was worth it. Trying to find the most round one ever. This one is nice and round. You can also send distress signals to a passing ship. All right, that's looking pretty sweet. That is our DIY 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver made from everyday materials. I only spent about $12 on this entire thing because I only had to buy a few things. So if you had to pick up some of the spray paint and the pipes and things, you could still build this for about $25. So let me know in the comments what other builds you wanna see me try and make. And by the way, you can buy this sweet DIY prop shop shirt. It's in the Ami uh, gear shop and there's other cool Ami gear. So be sure and check out the link for that. And uh, if you do any builds on your own, I'd love to see them. So be sure and tag them DIY prop shop and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so you can see what I build next time. All right, see you guys later. Put it in my pocket protector. Paint around the edges is done. So now we gotta glue our cutouts. So I'm just gonna use some spray adhesive and coat the back really nice and then put these on here one at a time until we get to the end. Mm -hmm.